Through hole soldering is uh, sometimes considered the hardest kind of soldering to learn, but that's usually because a lot of people will wait until they have some component that they've paid money for, and they'll try to learn on that component, and that's just a little bit stress making. You know, you've paid money and now you're, you're, you're trying to learn by soldering on that expensive thing that you've bought. If you do your, your homework on just a, a scratch board, you know, you'll, you'll get the technique down and it won't stress you at all to be soldering you know, on pieces that you've paid for. So typically, you'll get some kind of board like this. This is a little uh, tiny Arduino. And it will come with some pins or you'll supply your pins. And you'll put them through like that. And then you'll solder across the top. Or you might have something that fits the pins like that, and with your right angle, you know, you'll, you'll have the pins that feed sideways. The important thing in both cases is make sure, see how there's a little bit of play there? You want to make sure that when you're soldering, you've got it in the hole uh, straight. You don't want like one end sticking out more than the other, where it would be crooked like that. Or you don't want it uh, you know, crooked you know, one way or the other this way. Just make sure you've got it in nice and straight. If it's an angled uh, pin you've got, you'll probably put it in your helping hands. If uh, it's a just a straight pin, you'll probably, if you put them on a breadboard, then you can put your piece on there and you can just make sure. See how, the, see how nice and straight that is? And we can check all the sides and that looks good. Sometimes you'll be needing to solder a component, you know, transistor, resistor, something like that. That's pretty straightforward. You just put it through, you just put your component through so that it sits like that. And then when you flip it over, you kind of bend it to the side so that it holds its position. And then you'll just solder it using the same technique that uh, we'll cover. So we have a we have a perf board here. We've already put it into the breadboard, and I'm going to switch to my safety glasses because these are pretty small and I'm short-sighted, so I really have to lean in to see what I'm doing. And I always wear safety glasses while doing this just because I'm so uninterested and catching an eyeful of solder. Now the soldering itself is really straightforward. Just like we've learned on our other soldering things, we heat up both pieces, make a heat bridge, and then just bring the solder in. You can see there's the first one we've done. It kind of looks like a Hershey's Kiss. We'll look at that in a second. Here we go again. Just enough so that it looks like a Hershey's Kiss. Heat bridge, bring it in, and a Hershey's Kiss, and a little bit more there. And this is where, it's not totally necessary, but this is the uh, 0.5 mm solder. And it's a little bit easier to control the flow just because it's skinnier. You can use a bigger solder, no problem. You just have to be a little bit more careful not to, you know, flood, you know, flood your joint with solder so these all look pretty good here you can see oh, let me change my glasses as you can see i'll try to get this as close as i can you can see that that has made a nice hershey shaped hershey's kiss shaped solder joint it's a uh, nice and shiny that's what you want it's not blobbed or over soldered. Here's some examples of some bad soldering. If you look at this hole on the end, hole T, that's just with barely any solder at all. It barely got around the plating. It uh, sort of makes contact, but this is not going to be a good electrical connection. It could be a flaky part of your design. If you look at hole Q, this is just a little bit too much solder. I mean, it's probably okay, but you see how it's kind of blobbed up at the top? You know, for good style points, you don't want it to be too much like that. Because if you put two of those together, 
you might uh, yeah, they might uh, flow across and uh, sh can cause a short. If you look at holes J and K, you know, I just really, really, I was, I was cranking solder in like crazy to get it to jump that bridge. And, you know, highly doubtful you'll do that on purpose, but you know, if that happens, you're going to need to clean it up and uh, re-solder. So that's uh, the through hole soldering. We'll look at the good one one more time. We see the characteristics. It's nice and shiny. They're Hershey shaped. They're not blobby. And if you do that, uh, you know, if you if you practice at all, soon you'll be able to do that with no difficulty.